hey guys welcome to my channel once again here i am with the christmas background in the den okay so for today's video we are playing in the new melt palette i'm just gonna say melt pigment palette here because it's gonna be in the description bar the exact name of the palette because these are in spanish which it's okay somebody will translate for me the palette looks like this i stayed in the coral and a little bit of the green range i used two of melts gel liners we used a lipstick this is in the shade besos i believe besos beso i do know that means kiss so if you want to see how i got this look using those products just continue to watch wait before you continue to watch i don't want you to forget please subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up button and when you're done watching this video put a comment down below it really helps my channel out and i'm trying to grow so let's get into the get into the video Here it goes a little yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have something super duper exciting. Exciting to me anyway. I hope you're excited. If I'm excited, then we can be excited because I'm excited. So if you know me, if you watch my videos, if you're not a newbie, you know I am a sucker. Even though they disappointed me one time. But one time out of, you know, many. I'm, I'm gonna give them a pass. We have the Melt Cosmetics. The name oh, of it, I don't know. Amor Mariposas. I think that's what it says. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. So the box is gold. Inside it's red felt velvet what is that velvet y'all this is heavy this is like this is heavy this is different for melt this is different look at the butterflies it's gorgeous the art is raised on there it's not stickers i just love it and there is is that a heart in the middle like an actual heart it's just so pretty i just i had to have it had to have it i knew i was gonna get it when i saw the promo pics i was disappointed at the amount of money they wanted for the pr package because i wanted the pr package i really really did but 450 dollars i don't even care if you break that up it's not that's not given how it looks like it says Amor mariposas or mariposas. And there's butterfly detailing around the mirror. I'm not going to blind you with the mirror, but this is the shades and these are pressed pigments. And I was told that I want to say it's the bottom row. They say it's not eye safe or the top row. But if you're familiar with pigments, a lot of them are not considered eye safe so use at your own risk so i want to start with a super duper fluffy brush i'm gonna go into this brush and i'm gonna use probably i don't know so i'm gonna use this fluffy brush here right, we're going coral we have a coral matte lipstick let's just do it so this is the shade wait a minute what is she looks like angelica i'm gonna go into the coral shade that is here in the middle it looks more orange on camera but i promise you it's coral so i'm gonna use that shade and the mattes are embossed with butterflies and the shimmers are just plain shimmer but they look like they have a lot of dimension to them so this is what it looks like on a brush <laughs> And I'm going to take my time because these are pigments and things could go left really, really quickly. 
So this is a really bright coral. I'm going in again. Just laying that down. And remember my base is not set and that is why I'm treading so lightly because I do not want things to get muddy. Just re-tapping. And this is more of a, I won't say a summer look because you can wear shadows whenever and however you want to wear them. That is your business. So the next shade I'm going to go into is the shade, I don't know what it says. So I'll just point it out to you. I'm going to go on the bottom. Perla, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to use a smaller brush just so I can have control over my placement and it's not as diffused as my first shade and I'm just gonna go slightly lower than my first shade I like it, I like it, I like it. So I'm literally tapping into it and it's giving me life. So I'm going to go into, what is the name of that? I don't know, next to the orange butterfly there. Is it that one? Should I go there or there? I'm gonna go there. Maybe I'll mix them. Oh, that's P Matia gear. No, I want to take some eye base or some concealer and carve out my lid and do a cut crease. I haven't done a cut crease in a really long time, so why not? So I'm just going to take some of my ABH Magic Touch Concealer and carve out a crease. And I'm going to take my time with this so I can have the concealer right where I want it. And I'll start there. And this concealer dries fast, so and the same thing here. I really want to do a green look, but I'm already in coral. So I'm gonna take these two shimmers in the RNG coral family. I'm gonna take this one. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. Taking my time. And then I'll go into the black, not cleaning my brush off so they can mix together and be a little bit softer and just reinforce the smoke. So I am going to throw on a face, throw on a face, make some mascara. I really thought that was a mascara, like, I was like, oh, they gave me a free deluxe size mascara, and it's a lippy. I don't know that I'm going to use it today, or in this video, because 
Yeah, this is a pretty heavy eye look. But we're not done. Okay, I'm back. I got a face on. I got my lips lined. I'm ready to get graphic. Hands feel sticky, but it's all good. So let's do our graphic liner first. So for our liner, I'm going to do it. I might regret it, but just look at the eyes before I do this because I don't know. I don't know what has gotten into me. So I have this really small, I normally use this for my lower lash line. I'm thinking I should go paintbrush small, like small, small. But will I have enough control? That's the question. We're going to do it. So, we're going to use this liner. I got to be quiet while I'm doing this. So, I've never done this before. Never, ever attempted by me. So far, so good. Uh-oh, we getting a little thick. Pink and green go together, right? I want to do it. I just have to do it. I just got to do it. Okay. So I have wiped my brush off. And then I'm going to go in the green gel liner. And I'm going to, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to put it somewhere. Let me see. Let's go lower lash line. Put it on there in the corner. Sorry for the barking dog. He has no home training. Okay. One more wipe. Because we got to do an inner corner highlight. It has some shadow to the lower lash line. Which should be the easy part. Start with this pencil brush. So on the lower lash line, I'm going to go into the green and the pink. Because we're doing green and pink now. So I think I want to put some of this green sparkle down there because it's just so pretty. No, I'm going to put the lighter green. Now nope. we're going deep, full effect, full effect. Full effect. I just got an idea so I'm gonna go into this purple this purple shade right here and I'm gonna brush some of that on my lower lash line I do need a smaller brush to do that I do I do I do okay I think I have too much but whatever I really want some of that purple on the inner corner of the
say just the hair and then I'm going back in with a fluffier brush I'll tap it off how about that I went there with this look and I'm loving it because now we got to do it in a corner highlight and the lightest goal is here it looks a bit chunky so I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that it's this one here yeah I'm doing it should I smoke it out with some green too should I add green? Okay, I'm gonna add just a touch of green. Just a touch. I'm gonna go into the mid-tone green, which looks like this. And I'm going to go, oh my gosh, I've done a oopsie. I can't take it off. Just don't bring it in any further. Okay, okay, I see, I see you. I line my lips, lips with the Natasha Denona Burgundy Eye Crayon, Macro Eye Crayon. melt you have my heart back you have my heart back this palette inspires me it inspires me yes it is pricey on the pricier side but for what you're getting this palette retails for $70 this is what it looks like I use quite a bit of shades. I use both my gel liners. I use the lipstick. The lipstick is dry, but if you know melt and you have a problem with dry lips, which I do, prep your lips with a lip oil. And if you find a color that you really like and you wanna use it and it's an ultra matte, just add just a tiny bit of gloss on top or leave the lip oil underneath i will tell you if you're going to use this lipstick it exfoliate your lips that's something i didn't do and i can see or i can feel it when i was putting on but the tiny bit of gloss that i added kind of counteracted that you know neglecting to exfoliate my lips so how do I feel about this palette so far so good I feel like it being a pigment palette everything blended out beautifully um everything was super super duper pigmented out of the shades that I use there's not a lot of shimmers but I do like melt more for their matte formula this matte formula, even though it's a pigment and not a regular shadow, it reminds me of the quality of the mattes in the stacks versus the palettes, which I prefer the stacks. I feel like it's a bomb palette. The artwork is amazing. Um, it's not stickers on it. It doesn't feel cheap. I feel like you're getting what you pay for. The gloss I use in another video, I just wanted to get as many of the coral shades on my eyes coral pink shades on my eyes and use the two liners that I picked up so you can see how they work and exactly what they look like on somebody with brown skin so that's it for today's video guys thank you thank you thank you for tuning in I hope it wasn't too long uh, let me know what you want to see in the comments. Let me know if you picked up this pop palette and share your looks with me because I would love to see. This palette excites me. It makes me want to play in makeup. Yeah, and that's it. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please thumbs this video up. Please comment below. It really helps my channel out and I am trying to get this channel growing. Uh, what else? There was something else that I wanted to mention. I do want to do a holiday giveaway if I reach a certain goal. I'm not going to say what that goal is, but just continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And when we get there, trust me, you won't be disappointed. And until next time, guys, bye.